All right, guys. Hey, this is James, otherwise known as the Virtual Gamer, and I am here to play The Walking Dead. Now, this is just episode one of The Walking Dead. It's a new game. It's on the Xbox Live Arcade. It's only 400 Microsoft points, so you can go out and check it out. Uh, and I wanted to play this. I heard that it was actually really good. Saw a little bit of DSP's playthrough of it, and I thought it was uh, something cool to check out, something cool to put up. So it's not very long either. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and obviously get connected here. Okay, progress is saved. Great, great. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Let me go to options real quick. I want to make sure I have everything set up correctly on here audio visual um, I always like the voice to be a little bit higher than the music and the sound so let's take that down I always ramp up the brightness just a little bit over what uh, the default is that's usually pretty good see here okay I want the subtitles to be on uh, detect selectables yeah definitely story notifications on display face display face buttons I don't know what that means so but all right we're gonna go with that didn't look like there was any kind of difficulty setting or anything like that so um, Let me look at the controls real quick and see what we got here. So basically, move your character, move the reticle. Your action is the D-pad or down on the D-pad. And then everything else is action. All the buttons are action buttons. Okay. All right, well, let's get to... Uh, well, let me, uh, let me go here real quick and just say how to play. Use the left stick to move Lee and explore the world. The right stick will aim the reticle and allow you to interact with things you see. And then A, B, X, and Y. Choose actions or replies and occasionally blow a zombie's head off. That's nice. That's a, that's a nice little feature right there. So, uh, without... Oh, actually, hold on a second. Let me check out the achievements and see what kind of achievements. It's only got... Eight achievements. Complete chapter one, chapter two, three, four, five, six, seven, and complete episode one. Okay, well, easy damn achievements. Uh, uh, all the completions, completionists out there will be uh, upset because it doesn't, have, doesn't have harder achievements to it. Uh, let's go ahead and without further ado, let's go ahead and play this thing. Okay, we're going to choose a display style, standard, more help from UI and feedback when you make important choices, or minimal turn off UI hints. I want the standard, because sometimes I'm really bad at making choices. If you've watched any of my Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 3 playthroughs, you'll know very quickly that sometimes I make bad choices, so... Okay, episode one, episode two is coming soon. Episode one is called A New Day. I'm guessing this is going to be, if you guys have ever watched The Walking Dead, I mean, basically, uh, basically everyone is turned into zombies because of some kind of virus or some kind of outbreak. I'm sure it's all based in some part on Stephen King's book, The Stand. And I know there's a ton of comic books uh, out there. This is based off a comic book. And uh, there's a, a zombie outbreak, so I'm sure a new day is probably going to be right after the zombie outbreak. Um, episode 2, stand, uh, Starved for Help. Episode 3 will be Long Road Ahead. Episode 4 is going to be Around Every Corner. Looks pretty interesting to me. No time left. And that's it. There's going to be five, looks like five episodes. Which is kind of cool. Um, 
because if they had released all five episodes at one time, you know, 400 Microsoft points times five, that's 2,000 Microsoft points. Whereas if they released the whole game at one time, maybe only 1,200 Microsoft points or 1,600. But, uh, you know, I mean, they could have released it, I guess. all. What they'll probably do, you know, like they do with kind of like with Deadliest Warrior is, is uh, release you know, all their DLC together in, in one product. Of course, Deadliest Warrior, I think they only charge $30 for it uh, on disc. But that's probably what they'll do with this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. Okay. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. We're in a city. Cool. I love the cinematic so far. It looks like it's right out, right out of the TV series, to be honest with you. Because I think I remember that bridge in the TV series. What the hell's going on here, man? I didn't do it. Hey, you guy, how you doing? <laughs> well, well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. You have a limited amount of time to make a choice. Uh, does it really matter? Why do you say that? Let's say why, why do you. Say why that? do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually, it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Uh. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Okay, take a look around. Look out the window. Now aim it at the rear view mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. A big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong one. I accidentally picked that last one there. this man once he, he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it he was an older fella big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses and he just wailing back there says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane and i'm telling him he's got to stop that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing. Watch the road. It's more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... 